My latest book, More Gigi's Bedtime Bible Stories, includes bonus material. These short sections point to ways that young readers begin learning how to study scripture on their own. Certain examples provide basic historical context for the narratives. I am going to read the bonus material that follows the chapter I entitled Fishing for Temple Tax, which is closely based on Matthew 17 verses 24 through 27. Since all four of the Gospels include snapshots of the times when Jesus met and gathered his closest disciples, I chose to draw this supplemental information from Luke chapter 5 verses 1 through 11. Here it is. Before this miracle of finding money inside a fish, I doubt anyone could have imagined a fish had swallowed the right coin for making a temple tax payment. Their first thought would have been to sell fish in order to earn plenty of money to pay their taxes. Several of Jesus' friends were fishermen before they followed him. Peter, Andrew, James, and John had fished on the Sea of Galilee or Lake of Gennesaret. The day Jesus invited these men to become his disciples, he said to Peter, Go back out and lower your nets again. Peter replied, We didn't catch anything all night, but we will try once more. They were surprised by how many fish they caught. It seemed as if their nets would burst. Their friends helped them fill two boats with tons of fish. Back on the shore, Peter knelt down. If you can do something like this, why would you want me by your side? I'm not good enough. Then Jesus promised, Come, follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. They stopped fishing and went everywhere with Jesus.